of jobs being created in the U.S. is growing at a record pace, which means new jobs and a lowering unemployment rate. But with the price of pretty much everything that we buy on the rise as well, will the growth continue? ABC 13's Nick Notario talked to the U.S. Secretary of Labor to ask about a possible recession. One thing that the Department of Labor is also focused on is child care. In fact, they actually put out a recent price chart that shows how much it cost, and we wanted to see in Harris County. So we took a look, and as you can see, infant, toddler, preschool have all risen substantially from just four years ago. You can see $1,000 more for infant child care alone. While this is concerning, the Labor Secretary says there's something else that has him even more worried. Secretary of Labor Marty Walsh got an up-close look at the push to get more aviation workers. United has a program to get more technicians. It allows students to earn while they learn. If you're looking for work, a recent jobs report shows employers added more than half a million jobs. But we asked Walsh if this will continue. We're not going to see 500,000 jobs every month because there's just not enough people to fill those jobs. But I, I, you know, I, I'm not, I wasn't concerned about a recession. I think you asked me six months ago. I'm certainly I'm not concerned about it today. Recession doesn't concern Walsh, but child care does. He says the pandemic forced many women out of the workplace because schools closed. Walsh says public-private partnerships should work to address this issue. Pointing the finger and blaming other, other parts of government is not the way to go right now because it, it's, based, it, it's really about the future of our economy. One way is a $75 million grant the state recently started. It's aimed to attract more child care centers. Providers can apply and get money to buy supplies to open a business. Either in expanding the child care that they have, uh, the child care business that they currently have, or working with local partners, seeing how we can facilitate the creation of new child care centers. An issue impacting all Texans. A U.S. Chamber study showed the state loses $1.8 billion in revenue because of child care. Money that could go to projects like roads and bridges. This is not just a, a federal government approach. We have to reimagine in government and in the private sector what child care is all about. Fixing a child care center, leaders say, will help parents return to work and introduce them to apprenticeship programs like the one Walsh got a close look at today. Nick Notorio, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. 